Right, everybody, it is match day three of the complete playthrough. We had the upset of the whole city defeating the Carabao, but it's back to the strongest 11, back to the Premier League. We've got a difficult trip to Leeds United. However, a win, potentially, for the time being, could put us top of the league. All right, guys, let's get into it. Check out the other episodes. As this, this is a complete playthrough. We're doing one game per episode, and we're just looking at how the team develops over the season, no signings made in the summer, but we may look at making some in January. All right, guys, let's dive in. We're off to Ellen Road. Okay, so after the Carabao Cup defeat in midweek, it's time to go back to our strongest 11. Let's just see. Let's just see what they say is our best 11. So Graben up there as a forward. Williams, obviously, Cook, Warren, the Akate. Yes, yes, yes. So it isn't actually far off. We do swap Yates and Mangal around. And then, because of the injuries at the moment we've got with Williams, we are going to go Brennan Johnson again on that right-hand side. And we still have to really go Lyle Taylor. Graben doesn't really offer us anything. OK, so the starting eleven for today is Henderson, Worrell and Niakati as the wide centre-halves. Cook in the middle of those two. Richards on the left, Johnson on the right. They played superbly well in the last game against West Ham. Yates and Mangala, a really solid central midfield. Lingard, who was quiet in the game against West Ham, should have scored. And then a Wanyi and Taylor up front. Leeds are obviously going to be a high press. So it'll be interesting to see how we deal with that. We dealt with it pretty well. You'd imagine the Southampton game was much more of a high press. West Ham was quite comfortable. They kind of just sat off and let us have the ball. But this may be a different game for us today. I am hoping that if Leeds press the league, they're going to play in a 4-4-2 as well. They're going to leave space in behind for us to exploit. That's what we want. And us be really dangerous on the counter-attack. Right, here we go. Leeds United away. We've made a superb start to the season. I'm expecting us to get turned over at some point. I'm just hoping that, you know, I have a weird thing that FM sometimes sees that defeat against Hull as an opportunity for the wheels to fall off, even though it was our backup team and only one of these players featured in the start of 11. But I'm just worried that that defeat is just going to hit our morale a little bit as Rocker picks it up. He's found James. It's 1-0. It could be offside. It was extremely tight. I don't know which way this is going to go. Goal awarded. Okay. Not the start we wanted. Dan James puts them 1-0 up. Lovely pass from Rocker. That was like outside of the foot as well. That would do. Dear me. Right. Let's have a encourage. We've got a free kick. Brennan Johnson. That's awful. That is awful. Right. Is he going to get another go? Oh, no, he's lost it. He's had a nightmare. He's had an absolute nightmare. Then it's pretty much a 3v1. Banford... It's them counter-attacking. That was absolutely horrendous, Brennan Johnson. And it is Leeds United 2. Nottingham Forest nil. We are getting a little bit of a taste of our own medicine after we've made fantastic starts in both games in the league. And now we've been picked off there. That was a bit of a disaster, wasn't it? A bit of a disaster. Right. Junior Furpo, Banford. Can we get back into this game? Brennan Johnson, Worrell. Get it under Taylor. He does, but he passes it straight to the other team. I just thought we were going to counter then. Dan James is in. He's put it wide. Right, we've settled a little bit. Quite even in terms of possession and shots. Obviously, their XG is higher, after, especially after that Banford passing to the back of the net. But we've got ourselves to half time. We're oh, I was just about to say, we're still in the game. Henderson does well. Dallas has thumped it in. We're not in the game. That is an absolute thunder bastard, as we call it. And my big mouth. See, Dean Henderson, and this is what annoys me about FM. Is Dean Henderson at fault for that? He's punched a ball that's gone from, what, 25, 30 yards out, and the ball has gone into the top corner. So he will get a low average rate. He's rated a 5.9, and I think that's absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. But we've been turned over here. We really have been turned over. We're creating bits, though. We've not had them guilt-ed chances, big chances. We're still at an XG of 0.55. So we've maybe struggled a little bit to create. Mangala's struggling, so we are going to make a change. Lewis O'Brien coming on. Right, Robin Cock. Dallas. Sinistera. Is this going to get ugly? Junior. Patrick Banford. Down the left-hand side. Not doing much to stop across there, are we? Sinestra, Banford, 4-0. 
Why are we not trying to stop crosses? Why are we allowing someone just to dribble around us to put a ball in the box? Look here, who's that? Cook. Very unlike what you would say. They're asking me to sub my goalkeeper as well. Brilliant. Okay, and we're 4-0 down. Yep, Cook, you deserve a 5.9 for that. Oh, dear God, boys. Is reality hitting? And one year's in. Lingard's there, he's got himself a goal, the first meaningful highlight that we've had and chance we've had, and like we do, we're generally really clinical in front of goal, and we've taken it, a one year working well with Richards down, it's a lovely little give and go, little pass, a one year in, a Jesse Lingard shadow striker doing what he can do, hopefully on a regular basis for us, right, I'm going to praise it, just to get the confidence up a little bit, and now we're pinging the ball about, we're in here, Lyle Taylor is in, He's rounded the goalkeeper and he should have scored. And we've created another big chance. Niakate goes all the way back. I think, you know, what we will do is when we get Nico Williams and the other right wing back back, is it Laria? Laria? We get him back. We may still go with Brennan Johnson up front because I'm not digging Lyle Taylor at all. We've also got Scar Scarpa, who's coming in 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 the in the in the January as well from Brazil. I'm not quite sure if he could do an. A, he's more of an attacking midfielder rather than a centre forward. Right, Harrison short free kick. We've blocked it. Get up, Banford. Sorry, Banford. Get up, Henderson. We've survived. Just right. Double change. We're taking the two strikers off. Uh, Lyle Taylor because he was terrible and I want you just to rest him because he had gone into sort of like red health. We've brought Surridge and De Costa on and it is five. Oh, God, we've been battered. We've been picked apart. And then poor old Dean Henderson. 5.7 for Dean Henderson. I don't think he quite deserves that. He did come out a little bit, but I still think it's harsh. They've had an XG of 2.18. That's a worry. Anything over two is a big worry, isn't it? Con looking at conceding two goals a game, we're going to struggle. Callback, Surridge, Costa, Cross. I thought a big open game would suit us and the amount of space they would leave us at the back would help us and it hasn't. And they've absolutely killed us today. So we're going to get our first league defeat of the season, guys. I don't think we need to panic because we've made a really good start. We're going to score goals. That's the thing. Teams staying up, we're going to score goals. If it continues where we concede loads of goals on a regular basis then we may have to look at tweaking things. But right now, I would like to give this opportunity to these players in this tactic for a good maybe 10 games to see how it does over a longer period before we start swapping and changing. Okay, that's it for this week for the complete playthrough. Thank you for watching. Smash the like on today's video. Next week's episode, we are starting with Monday night. We are starting with a home game against Brighton. Tuesday will be Palace away. Manchester United will be Wednesday. Leicester City will be on Thursday and Man City will be finishing next week. Remember, episodes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Saturday mornings. Thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this sort of video, I would appreciate it if you just put a little comment in to let me know that you're enjoying it. That would be absolutely lovely. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Take care. See you later.